this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your iOS device as a rolling sound canvas so it could be used in DOSBox. I'm going to show you how to do this wirelessly. And to accomplish this, you're going to need to install some software on your PC. And also you're going to need to have the sound canvas app installed on your iOS device. The software you will need to install on your PC is called RTP MIDI. You may also want to install Falco Sauce MIDI player just to test things out. I will provide links in the description to all these applications. So after everything is installed, open up the RTP MIDI program. Here in the My Sessions section, click on the plus sign to create a new session. A session name according to your PC's computer name will be created. Yours will be different than mine. Now click on the checkbox that's next to the session name that was created for you. And the next step is to go to your iPad and open up the Roland Sound Canvas app. When the Sound Canvas app finishes loading, you will see your iPad appear in the RTP MIDI app in the directory section. Now, just click on the connect button to create a connection to the iPad. You are now ready to use applications to send MIDI data to the iPad. Now it's time to test this connection using the MIDI player application I told you to download earlier. Open it up. Click on the gear icon to bring up the settings. Uncheck use MIDI mapper and in the output port, select the session that you created in the RTP MIDI application. Click on OK and then load up any MIDI files you may have on your computer. I'm going to be playing the Canyon MIDI file that comes with a lot of older versions of Windows. And it's working. As you can see here, the MIDI file that I chose to play on my computer is now playing on my iPad instead of the computer. The next step is to set up DOSBox to communicate with the iPad. Okay, so here I am on my desktop. And the first thing we want to do is to actually open up DOSBox. I'll open it up. And once it's open, we want to get the MIDI ID that DOSBox uses for the sound canvas. And the way to do that is to type mixer space forward slash list MIDI. And now here we have a list of devices. The first one is the standard Microsoft one that's in Windows. And here's the second one, which has the same name as the session that we created in RTP MIDI. The ID is number one. We want to take note of this number one and use it later. Let's exit out of DOSBox. The next step is to open up the DOSBox config file. So I'll do that. Scroll down all the way to the MIDI section which is here and underneath here on this MIDI config setting here, we want to type in the ID that showed up when we typed in the mixer command in DOSBox. My MIDI ID was one. Enter the ID that showed up for you for your RTP MIDI session. I'll save the file and exit and we're done. All that's left to do is to configure each game to use the sound canvas. Some games you won't be able to do this, but other games will give you the option to use either Sound Canvas or General MIDI. Okay, so what's left now is to configure the DOS games to use the Sound Canvas. And to do that, you have to go to each of their setup programs and change the music card to Sound Canvas or General MIDI. And also set the port to 330. Here I am in the Doom setup. So like I said, I want to change the music card. I'll select choose music card and we'll change it to sound canvas. We can also change it to general MIDI. Some games won't have the sound canvas option, so just use general MIDI. If a game doesn't have sound canvas or general MIDI, then you will have to use Sound Blaster and DOS. Okay, so I'll choose sound canvas and the MIDI port has to be 330. Now I'll save the settings and launch Doom and the music should play on the sound canvas. There it is playing on the iPad.
Now, all setup programs will not look the same. Here I am in the Descent setup program. And let's do the same that we did in the Doom setup program. We want to change the music card. Now, this game does not give me the option to use Sound Canvas. So we will use General MIDI. And select the 330 MIDI port. And now let's test the music card. I'll ignore this warning message and hit continue testing. So that's how you set up an iOS device as a sound canvas for DOSBox. If you found this helpful, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.